Okay, in this video, we're gonna look a little bit at using chain rule to find derivatives. So up there at the top, we have chain rule written down. So this says that if we're gonna find the derivative with respect to x of f of g of x, so we've got a function inside another function here, that we're gonna find the derivative by using chain rule here, which says we're gonna take the derivative of the outer function, the derivative of the outer function, f prime, and we leave the inside function alone, and then we take that times the derivative of the inner function. So we're just gonna look at a couple of examples here, and then we'll look at a couple of more difficult examples in the next video. All right, so the first one that we wanna look at here is we're gonna find the derivative of, we're just gonna have a polynomial to a power. Okay, so we can see here that we have a polynomial function inside and then a power function on the outside. So when we find that derivative, we're gonna have dy dx equals, we're gonna start by taking the derivative of the outer function. So that's the 12th power. So that's the one where we multiply by that exponent out front and subtract one. We're gonna leave the inside alone. You might notice the way I wrote that I thought through taking the derivative of the power part first, left the inside alone. And then we're gonna take that times the derivative of the inner function, times the derivative of what's inside. So this part will be times the derivative of the original inner function here, so the derivative of 5x cubed minus 2x. Okay, so there is our derivative. Uh, we could do some simplification and clean that up a little bit if we want, but it's okay to leave it in this form unless it's necessary to simplify that. All right, we're gonna look at another example here that involves a trig function. Okay, so here we have a polynomial function, 3x squared inside a trig function. We also have a constant out front, so we have a rule for differentiating when we have a constant times a function. We know that that constant just comes along for that derivative. All right, so here's our original function, and then for our derivative, derivative of a constant times a function is just gonna be that constant times the derivative of the function. And then here's where we're gonna use chain rule. Our outer function here is the sine function. So the derivative of sine is cosine, leave the inside alone, and then times the derivative of the inner function. So times the derivative of 3x squared. So we'll have times 6x. All right, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. The way this is written, it's a little bit unclear what the cosine actually applies to, um, but remember this was cosine of 3x squared, and then the whole thing was times 6x. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit so it's clear what the cosine function actually applies to. So I'll take the four times six x and make that 24 x out front and then times cosine of three x squared. Okay, I'm gonna do one more little example over here. Uh, this is the kind of problem that a lot of students mess up. So I want you to pay particular attention to what's happening on this one. All right, so I have a power of a trig function. And one of the things that is confusing to students about this kind of problem is that they're a little bit unclear what is the outer and what is the inner function. So you wanna rewrite this and think about what this function means. I'm not finding the derivative yet, I'm just rewriting the original function. So sine fourth of x actually means sine of x, that whole thing to the fourth power. And when you rewrite it like that, then it's easy to see what your inner and your outer function is. Your outer function is your fourth power, and your inner function is the sine function. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the derivative now. So we'll have dy dx equals, I'm gonna take the derivative of the outer function, leaving the inside alone. So we'll bring down that exponent and subtract one leaving that inner function alone. So this is the derivative of the fourth power part. And then we need to take that times the derivative of what's inside. So times the derivative of the inner function. Derivative of sine function is cosine function. 
Okay, and if we want to rewrite that a little bit so that it's a little cleaner, we could write that as 4 times sine cubed of x times cosine of x. Okay, we'll look at some more examples in the next video.